some people think the Great Axe is a brain-dead weapon, an unskillful amateur hour face roll option of weaponry. You want to know what I think? I see a Great Axe. A full-size 4x4 Jeep Wrangler Transforma Giga Chad Alpha Male. We're not just spending to win, we're out here mowing the grass of the battlefield, chopping down every peasant in sight, and weed whacking like we're getting paid for it. So the next time you pick up a Great Axe, just know you're not just choosing a weapon. You're choosing a goddamn lifestyle. Welcome to the Great Axe Club. Welcome, Descriptive Gaming. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you've all been keeping well and are excited as I am, as today we'll be starting a brand new adventure together. In this new series, we'll be traveling deep into the lands of Albion to capture some of the rarest baby animals the game has to offer. Some of these animals will be found in the comfort of blue or yellow zones, while the more prestigious animals can only be found in the treacherous red and black zones of Albion. Before we set off, I made a list of rare baby animals we'll be searching for during our journey. To start us off, we'll be looking for a Tier 4 Adept's Fawn, followed by hunting for a Tier 5 Swiftclaw Cub. Moving on to our more challenging targets, we'll be searching for a Tier 6 Direwolf Pup, followed by the ferocious Tier 7 Direboar Piglet, which then leads us to our final rare animal, the menacing Tier 8 Dire Bear Cub. Each episode will consist of hunting down one of the five rare baby animals, starting at tier 4 and working our way to tier 8. But before we begin our journey, I would like to announce the winner of last video's giveaway, and invite you all to join our new giveaway for this video. We had over 100 people sign up for a chance to win a tier 7 saddled terror bird. So without further ado, let's spin the wheel and declare our winner. Good luck everyone, here we go. And the winner is... Basquiat. I hope I'm saying that right. Congratulations my friend, you have won yourself a tier 7 saddled terror bird. I'll be adding you in game to trade you the mount, so please keep an eye out on your friends list. And for this video's giveaway, I'll be giving away a tier 6 moose to one lucky winner. To sign up for a chance to win, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment your in-game name in the comments below. I'll be picking a winner in our next video, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But with that out of the way, let's get into episode 1 of our new adventure. I hope you enjoy. Hey you guys, it's time to start our journey. So let's talk about our first rare baby animal and where we can find them. As per the list I mentioned earlier, we'll be starting with the tier 4 fawn which drops from a tier 4 giant stag. These giant stags can be found in the desert biomes of Albion. And the cool thing is, they can be seen in blue, yellow, red, and black zones. So even if you're a new player looking to get into rare baby animal hunting, you can find these baby fawns in the safe zones as well. A common question might be, what are the chances of me obtaining a baby fawn? Well, according to the Albion wiki, killing a giant stag gives you a drop chance of 0.48%, which is surprisingly low for a tier 4 animal, but I'm still confident we'll be able to find one. So, the first zone I venture to is Sandrift Prairie, which is a zone connected to the Bridgewatch Black Zone Portal Town. These tier 5 black zones have a good amount of giant stags roaming the desert, so I do my best to avoid the gankers and focus on finding the stags. In addition to taking down these animals, you'll also see me skinning them afterwards for their hide. It's worth noting that this is not required to receive the baby animals, as they instead drop in a loot bag after killing the elder animal. But I am simply skinning to be productive with my time, as we already know the drop chance of baby animals are fairly low. I'm able to find a good amount of giant stags in a short amount of time, but no luck yet finding a baby fawn. Instead, I find myself in some trouble with some nearby gankers. I accidentally move too far away from my mount and find myself running for my life with only skinning gear to protect me. Luckily, I'm able to create some distance with my Grove Keeper, but the gankers continue to chase me down. As they close the distance, I make my move to use my Potion of Invisibility and do a 180 to turn around. I run just far enough to create some distance between myself and the gankers. 
Lucky for me, the Sabertooth Tiger from out of nowhere just barely hits me too late, allowing me to mount up and make it out alive. After that troubling encounter, I attempt to carry on looking for giant stags, but I continue to have people dismount and interrupt my peaceful farming. So at this point, I figured it'd be better to try out a different zone. My journey then took me to Lazy Grass Plain, a yellow zone just northeast of Bridgewatch. Again, I had no issue finding giant stags. The only issue was the amount of player traffic roaming through the yellow zone. I could find some stags, but would then have to pass through the boneyard before finding more live stags. With this, I would now have to travel further north into the red zones to find an effective farming spot. Which led me to Flimmerare Step. While here, I was able to farm while barely coming across any players. Not only that, this zone had a hide cluster which can be seen on the map. This signifies that there is a high density of animals roaming this part of the zone, and for us, a high amount of giant stags. While I could only farm up to 2 to 3 giant stags at a time in the other zones, this zone allowed me to farm up to 5 or 6, which increases our chances of finding a baby fawn. Shortly after farming these clusters of giant stags, that's when it happened. To my delight, a loot bag drops from one of the stags. I finished off the remaining stags to then check the bag, and sure enough, we find our first baby fawn. After venturing across multiple zones, our hard work pays off, and we are rewarded with one of the rare baby animals on our list. One down, four more to go. If you enjoyed today's episode, I would love it if you gave the video a like and subscribe to the channel. Of course, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below, or you can join us in our Great Axe Club community discord. I'll be leaving an invite link in the video description below, so I hope to see you in there. But that about does it for me. Be sure to stay tuned for our next episode where we go hunting for Swift Claw Cubs. But until then, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next time.